think what makes our programs unique is that we do use a lot of wildlife. Using the live animals is what makes these things special and unique and um, quite engaging. Getting outside is beneficial to early childhood development. It's pretty pervasive throughout all of the programming we do where our mission is to help connect people in in nature. I really like being a part of something working for a greater good. This is a nice venue because I know I'm trying to educate people and I'm trying to help everyone have chances to interact with nature or to know more about it. If you impact a young life, you've impacted tomorrow. Yet if you impact a young life through environmental education, you've empowered tomorrow's outdoor steward. So the formula is really very straightforward. It's just that any educational process is, uh, is work. And no one does that work, in my opinion, better than the Outdoor Discovery Center. Pretty much everything around us here today, where we're standing, was cornfield. And the goal was to try to restore it back to a more natural native state, um, kind of pre-agricultural state something that could be used for educational purposes with a focus of what schools and community groups could come out and use it and learn about the outdoors. Here's this marvelous piece of property that has unlimited capacity and what, what can that be? Because no matter what we look at in individual programs, it's still this terrific piece of nature that we can use to, to impact people's lives. We have a, a, a wide variety of programs here, um, from conservation programs, te teaching people how to manage their habitat, to uh, children's programs where uh, some of us, such as myself, dress up as French voyageurs to help them learn more about history and, and the interactions of uh, Europeans with Native Americans, um, to uh, habitat programs such as uh, ecology programs, learning more about the diversity of life and how everything interacts. We don't encourage people to stay on this defined trail. Go to visit the edge of the wetland. We want people to go walk through the meadow and, and kick up a rabbit as they're walking. Uh, a full nature experience, not this guided thing. You're not at a zoo. You're, you're on a nature preserve, but you're at an educational site. So we want people to get out there and use it to learn what's out in their backyards. Lots of studies have shown that children, starting at a very young age, who play outside, often an unstructured play, in natural environments, there are all kinds of intellectual, social, emotional benefits. My, my favorite thing is when you give an animal to a kid and you say, okay, you can, you can touch this rabbit or this snake, and they'll be like, I don't want to touch it, and then they'll touch it. <laughs> like, they, they think they should do one thing, but they're so engrossed in it that they, they really do want to experience it. Thousands of K through 12 students are affected, both here at this property and off-site, where the ODC staff go to various other schools in the area and are engaged in environmental or ecological education of various sorts. From a very young age, preschool, all the way through, well, all the way through not just high school, but college students come here to do research. A lot of environmental education happens uh, at the Outdoor Discovery Center and now through the Greenway. The roots of Makatawa Greenway Partnership started back in the Future Search of 1994, and that was formalized in 1996 as the Makatawa Greenway Partnership. The concept was to protect a, a corridor along the river for a habitat protection for wildlife. Uh, secondly, recreational opportunities that would go along with that. We were plan and land focused. Outdoor Discovery Center was focused you know, largely on programs, educational opportunities, and so forth. And it just seemed like there was a huge overlap of mission and complementary uh, vision statements and activities. Water and West Michigan are synonymous with, one, with each other. And uh, by combining the two organizations, it really allowed us to integrate our world-class educational programming into the, the natural assets, the, the water access that, that uh, our area has to offer. I think it's really beneficial to the community, providing natural green spaces and developing the uh, locations into usable locations. So it's not just necessarily an isolated park 
but it's something you, you can get into, you can go observe wildlife, you can get out, you can kayak along the river. There are three goals we've had, I think, from the beginning, at least as long as I was part of the Greenway and now part of the ODC Greenway, to preserve natural habitat, to make possible human recreation opportunities, hiking, cross-country skiing, rollerblading, bicycling. And the third is environmental quality, and in our case, especially water quality. That's one of the reasons studies show that people choose to live in certain communities are the so-called environmental benefits or opportunities. I'm convinced as an educator that the best way to develop a kind of environmental ethic is to get people out, outside, on the water, streams, rivers, or in the woods or prairies, so they get to know some plants, some animals, get to know their home place, because only then will they really feel any ownership in taking care of it. That kind of first-hand experience is, I think, a huge piece of what ODC Matt Greenway is really about. There's a great quote called, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And there was this vision, but um, we actually were able to create it, and it's just morphed into far more than anything I think any of us, even those that had the biggest vision, could possibly imagine. There's nothing more gratifying uh, when you're an entrepreneur to grab hold of a concept that you know is sound and you know is viable and you know has merit and you know is needed and begin the process by which you see that come to positive fruition. I've been blessed in life with a number of successes, but there's no greater success in my life than my involvement in the formation of this property and this facility and more importantly, the, the fact the children's lives that we impacted here on a daily basis. We've had 12 years of growth, consistent growth in every aspect of our organization. You know, it's an hour we're serving 35,000 people a year in our programs. Um, we continue to add property, we've added facilities. I think our biggest efforts are going to come in around strategically aligning with partners and putting our efforts into key programs and projects that grow our mission. ODC, Matt Greenway, is in a real position of strength. I think the board is very strong. Travis is a, is a tremendous executive director. Uh, financially, we're in great shape. Here we are sitting in this beautiful new pavilion, which should get a lot of, of use. The future, I think, looks, looks very, very bright, and the ODC, Matt Greenway, is, I think, seen as kind of leading the way in many ways among institutions of its kind. To me, it's just, it's just a phenomenal thing. It's a phenomenal organization, and I, I couldn't be prouder than to be part of, to be part of this.